Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today we can create this bootcut icon in Gravity Designer. So let's start with the Alt N or Option N on your Mac to create a new document. I'm gonna size it with this block cover size. I'm gonna increase it with Ctrl plus Command plus on your Mac and start with the rectangle. So click R to select the rectangle and holding Shift and Alt or shift and option on your Mac, start drawing a rectangle to constrain in the proportion. So we are going to create a square. I'm gonna size it here on the transform panel. First, constrain the proportion, clicking on this small icon between the width and height, and then uh, set the width to 275 pixels, and uh, your height would resize it respectively. Align to the center, both horizontally and vertically and navigate to the appearance panel and set the corner radius to 90 pixels. Apply the changes. Now with Ctrl Shift D or Command Shift D create a duplicate. Select the bottom copy and for this bottom copy uncheck the keep ratio and go to the height and increase the height to on 10 pixels to 285 pixels. Click OK. What it does is create a dimension. Now we are going to reduce the brightness, and then go to the fill and decrease the brightness of the fill of this second rectangle. Now return to the rectangle on top. This is gonna be our wooden surface. So let's add a texture. Go to the fill and from this row, select the fifth texture and navigate to this icon, choose image. I'm gonna apply this surface that I found on the freefexture.com. You can follow the link in the description and download this texture. After downloading this texture, change the sizing from tile to stretch here from this drop down menu. Really nice. Don't change anything. Select this design. And I'm gonna change the opacity to our fill, setting it to 85%. Click OK. Now select this rectangle on bottom. And I'm gonna change the fill color of it. Going to this hexadecimal field and setting to 80, uh, 48, 21, or A, and click OK. Uh, nice, really nice. Uh, guys, let's go to our libraries. And within our library, search for the fork. And in search result, I'm gonna check this first set of black and white cutlery. Drag and drop it on your wooden texture and navigate to the size. I'm gonna keep the ratio and set the width to around 166 uh, pixels, like so. Uh, then I'm gonna select all of my uh, elements and align it to the center horizontally. So keep selected your set. Go to the borders, select your border and delete it. Then go to the fill and apply a color. Again, place your cursor on the hexadecimal values and go and set 5B1616 and click enter to apply the changes. Go to the appearance panel and set the blending mode to hard light. Really nice. What it does? It's actually create this transparency so we can see actually a wooden texture through these icons. Great, let's add some couple effects to this uh, cutlery set. And first effect gonna be inner shadow. So click on inner shadow and set this inner shadow X and Y values from the range of 2 to 3. Uh, you can place these values. I'm gonna set it to 
maximum then blur value to from uh, from 2 to 5 sorry and set the opacity to 80% click ok great now go to the more then other and add stroke to this cutlery set and within this stroke set the width to 9.73 set the softness of this effect to 0.24 set the shape to 1 color Again, navigate to get the decimal value and set it to FFCC, uh, sorry, C2C2. And apply again and check this option elliptical. Tune it on. Really nice. So it's time to boost a bit our wooden surface with a couple of effects. So navigate to the uh, more artistic and apply the vignette. Well, it looks uh, very well. I just a little bit reduce the amount of this vignette to 0.45. Next effect, go to the more, adjust and color adjust. And here we need to reduce the brightness on negative 10 and increase the contrast to around 20, probably. 80% I'm gonna set it to 90 and leave the hue and saturation as the default so our icon is ready if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give a thumb up subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends guys visit vitrolias.net for more graphic design tutorials join my facebook graphic design tutorials group thank you for watching have a nice day